what equipment is best for soundstage? Okay, that's a good question. It comes to us from Charles in Chicago. And Charles writes, I read reviews for servers, DACs, preamps, amps, and speakers, all claiming to improve soundstage. The soundstage get designed into all these different products? And what would be the top one or two types of products that you'd recommend for better sound staging? Thanks for being the hardest working man in hi-fi. <laughs> well, I don't know about that, but thanks. <laughs> Sometimes I think I'm the laziest guy, but uh, I try and have fun. Okay, so sound staging. Well, the most obvious piece of equipment in your chain to do with sound staging is your loudspeakers. I mean, by bar by a country mile. So loudspeakers are really responsible for a, a, a lot of what we consider sound staging. And, and let's define our terms. Sound staging is where the image created by this, these, these left and right speakers, which create this stereo image, including the phantom center channel, build an illusion behind the loudspeakers that has both height, width, and depth. And a proper soundstage is completely divorced from the loudspeakers and appears behind the speakers. Now, sometimes it'll extend behind you and whatnot because it, it, it's all this sort of illusory. illusory? It's an illusion. <laughs> I don't know. Um, and proper setup of the speakers, their off-axis response. The, I mean, there's a hundred different things that affect soundstage when it comes to speakers. And some speakers image and create a soundstage far better than others. So that's where you want to start. Once you've gotten a pair of speakers that give you the kind of image that you want and the kind of soundstage that you want, the next part of the question comes down to equipment, and by that, of course, he means electronics. What pieces of electronics really control the soundstage? And I, I have to tell you that they're all very involved, from the DAC to the preamp to the amplifier. But I think if I had to choose one, let's just let's let's narrow it down. Let's say we have a source, which could be a turntable or a CD player DAC sort of thing, a preamplifier to control everything, and then a power amplifier to provide the watts and the power that drive our speakers. Of those three pieces within the chain, I would go with the preamplifier, and I'll tell you why. The preamp is whether it's built in as in an integrated or whether it's external as in an external separate preamp, that device right there, you can think of it kind of like the, the clearing house, the, the, the final arbiter between the source and the output power uh, device. Now, the preamp has a huge role to play. It takes tiny signals, it changes the volume up and down, allows you to switch between them, but it also provides some amount of gain. And that device, boy, I, I've just heard so many big changes where you have a great source and you have a great amp and you put a little crappy preamp in or a preamp where the designer didn't pay a lot of attention to soundstage, uh, it just flattens right out. It just makes it kind of two-dimensional. And we're looking for three dimensions. That's what we want, three-dimensional sound. So of all the components in the chain, and I'm generalizing here because, I mean, the, the, whether you have a power plant, power plants, our AC regenerators, they help with sound staging tremendously in tonal balance, as do sources and every other component. It's all a synergistic system, but if I had to choose one, Speakers first, and then one in the chain, the preamp. Hope that helps. Okay, thanks.